Hey, good morning and welcome to Ohio on Rehabilitation. And today I want to talk about how you would determine whether your patient is a stability patient or a mobility patient when you're sequencing your therapeutic intervention. A lot of times you ask yourself, should you stretch before you strengthen or do you really need to stretch? And have you ever heard that patient said, I've always been tight? Well, if you've heard that patient said, I've always been tight, maybe they're tight because their lumbar pelvic hip muscles are trying to stabilize themselves because of something going on within their core. Okay, so we're gonna do this example. Uh, and we have Craig here. Craig is a mancoplasty unicompartmental uh, knee replacement as well as patella reconstruction. And how far post-op? Four weeks. Four weeks post-op. So we're just gonna look at his uh, standard straight leg raise test. And right there, your hamstrings are short, so we can eyeball that range of motion. And then this is his uninvolved side, but he does have arthritis in his patellofemoral joint over here. But this is a straight leg raise test. So you would think, okay, I gotta stretch those hamstrings up. Well, let's now flex you up to 90 degrees. Okay, hold your leg there, the other side, 90 degrees. And we're gonna put your hands up in this position. So right in this position here, his hamstrings are short. Would you not agree with that? Okay, so now what we're gonna have you do is just tighten your core a little bit, and you're gonna rotate your trunk back and forth back and forth, nice and slow. And what I recommend you do this is for at least a minute, at least one minute, nice and slow. Make sure the patient's properly breathing, so he's inhaling and he's exhaling as he's going through this, engaging his core and making sure that he's getting proper, proper breathing. And again, his hamstrings are shortening and as well as his psoas muscles. So let's just kind of keep activating a few things here back and forth, back and forth, breathing properly in through the nose, blow out like you're blowing out a candle, is what I've called candle core breathing for many, many years. And uh, now relax. Okay, so let's go back down and let's go reassess that hamstring tightness here. Okay, so did he increase his hamstring flexibility? Oh yeah. Okay, now that's with no stretching. So what I want, you folks, you clinicians that are watching this video, is please send me my Facebook page a message and tell me how did that happen. And you'll get a free O'Halloran t-shirt. What about that?